the dual adjustable pulley. One of the most versatile machines there is in the fitness industry. In actual fact, I'd go as far as saying it would be the most versatile machine there is in the fitness industry. On this machine, you can do more exercises on one single machine than any other. If we have a look and we talk about the DAP and why we can perform so many exercises on it. If we have a look at the proximity of the two weight stacks here, what they allow is they allow us to do isolation style movements as well as compound style movements. Isolation, one joint, compound, more than one joint moving. So if we compared it, we said, well, let's compare the dual adjustable pulley to a machine such as a cable crossover. On a cable crossover, it's a great machine. So often though, the activities that we do are all isolation. You don't have the ability to do double compound movements. If we compare the DAP and we say, well, can you do those same isolation movements? Yes, we can. For example, we can do a standing vertical cable cross or we can do a bent over cable crossover action. We could go through and do activities such as a posterior delt fly that so often is a very popular favourite on a cable crossover machine. But not only can we perform those isolation movements, we can also do compound movements. With the two weight stacks, it allows us not just to do the compound and isolation movements with um, one hand, with two hands, we can also do them with a single hand as well. You can also do alternating style actions. So compared to a cable crossover, the DAP could do three, four, five, even up to 10 times as many exercises as this cable crossover machine. Then if we looked at other machines that are available in the industry, so often the functional machines in the industry, they aren't as multi-purpose as what we're looking at with the DAP. If I use an example, sometimes some of the machines, they have a low pulley. There might be a slight movement that is allowed. What we're looking to achieve with these machines is activities that may be something such as a low row. Once again, we're on the DAP and we can still do this same activity. On that same machine, the low pulley might also be intended for an activity such as a standing shoulder press. Now, also, may I point out that these machines, they often have just a singular weight stack. Limitations of a singular weight stack can be that both sides do not work independently of each other. When we have the two weight stacks here, it means that both sides of my body are both working the same amount. Or I can go to a single, single arm action as well. Sometimes some of these machines work from a low pulley height and they may have a platform so that we can do activities such as a resisted step up. Once again, same machine, we can do the same activity. If we have a movable step, we can work through multiple planes as well. So we can then start doing more lateral movement through what we call the frontal plane. So there's more activities that we can do even using a step within this machine. Sometimes we also see, and sometimes from the same, same range of equipment, a third machine. So three machines have to be purchased to do these same activities. These ones, they have long lever arms. With the long lever arms, they can be used from a wide position. And in a wide position, they may be used for activities such as the chest fly again. They may be used for a standing vertical posterior fly. These lever arms might be spun all the way up to top range so that somebody can do something such as a pull down style movement. Once again, multiple different activities can be performed on this one machine. Instead of three machines for all the activities that I've just covered, we have a singular machine. You also have other ranges and pieces of equipment where they like to work through multi-planar movements. 
multiplanar movements, such as something such as a lunge with rotation. So we have a lunge with rotation that can be performed. You can have a lunge with a pressing style movement that can be performed through multiplanars. Once again, from the ground, high or low. One machine, multitude. For mine, the greatest number of exercises that can be performed on one singular machine. Sometimes though we say, hey look, I don't want to work out by myself. So what can happen is, as you see, as we've got set up here, we've got one, two, three, four of these machines. where well, you can set up a multiple person circuit style activity station. Also, because of the dual weight stacks, you can either have one person per machine, so four people in total, or if you have each person using an individual pulley, you can have eight people in a circuit, all performing different activities on these four different machines. Once again, the versatility of these machines being one single machine versus having multiple machines means that they take up less floor space, have greater diversity, and quite often are even more intuitive than these singular station machines that are available on the market. For mine, the DAP, it's a must for any place, any facility, and it's something that appeals not just to me, who loves exercise and activity, but it's an important machine that my mum can use and gain great benefits from it. My dad, my sister, who's just had a child, benefits for absolutely everybody in a functional setting in conjunction with the handles and accessory kits are absolutely massive.